Previously on Oxventure, the Oxventure gang plus Dobbs' controversial new fiancé journeyed to the haunted manor at Necropolis on Sea, there to lay in wait for their old nemesis, the mighty sorcerer Liliana, and their new nemesis, the demonic trickster Vacatus. Vacatus, they learn, has planned a dinner with Liliana, where presumably he means to steal her magic to make himself unstoppably powerful and really seal the deal on his hard partying apocalypse. In turn, the Oxventurers plan two parallel dinners in two of the mansion's dining rooms to hoodwink Vacatus with a fake Liliana and Liliana with a fake Vacatus to keep their two nemeses apart and avert disaster. A plan so elegant and cunning in its complexity, it can't possibly go wrong. You heard me. So Liliana's advancing army, let's call it, because that's what it is, um, kind of pauses as she raises a hand somewhat regally and takes in this figure standing on the beach with a pair of impressive rooster legs, kind of opening his arms in a welcoming gesture. You received my invitation. <laughs> Welcome. The crowd of, um, of Egbert soldiers part as she sort of just walks toward you, Dob, as Vacatus. and says, Who in the hell are you? I think it matters less who I am and what I can do for you. But the journey has been long. You must be famished. <laughs> Won't you follow me inside? Um, I'm already you're... walking inside. <laughs> <laughs> she starts speaking as you turn and you actually hear her go like... <laughs> She is not used to people turning and, well, not swanning off, but... Roostering off. Roostering <laughs> off, <yeah. laughs> With these legs, once you start turning, it's very hard to stop, so... <laughs> Can't stop, I'm already walking. She raises a hand and nods for the, uh, the army to follow. Oh, please. I've laid the table just for two. She doesn't seem to heed that at all she keeps walking as you say this as does the army and she makes mm. no sign whatsoever please to dissuade them Liliana if everything I've heard about you if even a fraction of it is true you don't need this army to protect yourself please I would rather talk to you one on one magic user to magic user away from prying ears and I think you'll like what I have to say well, that of course depends on what you think I need this army for. You seem to think I'm using it to protect myself while we have lunch. My plan was to raise this entire building to the ground, find the people who normally live here, and butcher them mercilessly. And yet you seem to think we're on a date? <laughs> <laughs> a date? Call it a business meeting. Much as I love a conflagration, for what is a party without a bonfire? <laughs> Who are you, and what is your best reason why I shouldn't have you gutted right now? My name is Vacatus, and the best reason is... What's that? Well, I think I hear the dinner bell. <laughs> Make me a charisma persuasion <laughs> check, please. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot riding on this one. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. Twelve. She raises an eyebrow and seems to, um... The dinner bell is underneath the portrait. I mean, I give it a kick with my boot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your timing seems excellent. She sort of opens her mouth and then as the bell actually rings, she seems to sort of arch an eyebrow. She seems amused enough that she's going to let this play out for at least a couple more minutes. Yes. So... She, <laughs> she kind of giving you a sort of disconcerting smile, Dob, almost as if she has caught you in her web, not the other way round. She says, please, lead on. She hasn't reckoned for Dob's three-dimensional chess. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, okay, I, I, I Three-dimensional chess is just chess. <laughs> I <lead> Egbert's <laughs> finally learned this. <laughs> I, uh, okay, I, I lead on uh, down, down the hallway towards the dining room. Uh, as I go, I say, I, I gesture broadly, I suppose, to where I think Vacatus is going to be waiting for Liliana and, and, and just say, um, 
Oh, that room's being um, that room's being bug bombed due to the <laughs> white um, uh Pardon if you do detect the smell, um, but later we'll get high off the fumes, deliciously high. Um, and I, yeah, I lead into a di- into the dining room that I think we've uh, we've been in before with uh, Corazon. I think you're here in a portrait. I'm in the other one, the one where. Yeah, we'll have a we'll have a little recap in, cool. in just a second. All right, Liliana leaves the the army very literally on the doorstep. They're okay. arrayed in in rank and file, <laughs> just yeah. waiting for her command to okay. tear this place apart. Um, right. And sure, yeah, she she walks into the dining room and sort of takes a look over the place. And now might be a good opportunity to just quickly recap on where everybody is. So Corazon, you're in the other room, which is gonna play host mm-hmm. to real Vacatus and fake Liliana. As yep. portrayed by Prudence. I am, the second yeah. illusory dining room. I'm painted into a painting of, of me over mm-hmm. the uh, fireplace holding two cutlasses. This That's is really right. when we need the Oxventure playset. You know, like the dollhouse. <laughs> and the- <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to keep track. But please continue. No, okay. that's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm in a painting. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm I'm sat at the table. Um, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm sat at the second dining table awaiting Vacatus. Although disguised we as Liliana. Disguised as Liliana, although we haven't uh, determined how Vacatus will arrive at Necropolis on Sea. Indeed. Uh, Meryl, when? Okay, well, seeing as Corazon is looking over Prudence, I think one of us needs to look <laughs> over top. So I'm in the rafters of uh, the dining room that he and Liliana are in. In the uh, dining rooms in Necropolis on Sea, there's a sort of uh, gallery that runs around the higher uh, level of the dining room. Oh, we're in both of it. Well, I, I, I can, so I can sit. In the... I can hide in the little. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was that one of your recent improvements? Yeah, well, I thought it added Knock a through certain... the ceiling, make yeah, a mezzanine yeah, yeah. Make dining double, room. Make a double high mm, mezzanine. Double high dining room. Level in and the that... dining room. So okay. you can throw things on people when they're eating. I get it. That's good. That's good. <laughs> well, I, I, I needed a swingable chandelier. So oh, yeah, you needed the high seat. Yeah, so you can it, look. Yeah, 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 of course. Sense. Of course. It's so embarrassing when you have to tuck your knees up to stop your feet grazing the floor when you're swinging <laughs> on the chandelier. <laughs> it's all for swashbuckling practice. I need to swing on a chandelier for half an hour a day. Just to get yeah, you don't want to jump onto the chandelier and your arms don't take it and you just stack exactly. it off immediately. No. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Occasionally lock the butler in the freezer. Anyway, yeah. um, <laughs> Egbert. Yes. What about you? I'm in the kitchen at the moment with bismuth, presumably. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. And I'm, I guess I'm going to look around for a, a sort of waiter outfit, maybe. I can't imagine there's one in my size, but there might be one I could wriggle into somewhere. Um, yeah. We, had, we used to have a lurch. So it's pretty. Yeah, it's true, but I'd imagine he's like long and slim, and Egbert is a chunky boy. So um, yeah. Okay. We'll um, put in some put in some pregnancy panels in the back. (laughs) Egbert, I need you to make me a Dex acrobatics check to get into (laughs) this uh, uniform without tearing it. Is it a running start um, to get into the trousers? (laughs) Yeah. Um, Corazon, I need you to mark down inspiration for that. We used to have a lurch line. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Eight plus. Two is ten. Okay. So, you know that bit in Night of the Living Dead where the corpse walks towards Barbara? Right. And then you get the the reverse shot and you realise that it's a funeral suit so it has a slit down the back? Right. That is basically what you're wearing. You're in sort of a hospital gown. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's evening wear. So right. you're going to have to bear that in mind as you sort of to and fro from the room. Right. I'll Unless have to you want to bear something else. <laughs> yeah, lots of lots of respectful bowing, presumably, on your way out. But yeah, there's <laughs> there's very real danger that you're going to show everyone your butt. Okay, well, that's what's new. Big butt. Um, <laughs> yes, it's, it's a Big butt. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I feel like I, you know, I need to also to. I mean, my face is probably quite recognisable. So, um, mm. could I fashion a sort of small moustache out of a brush or something? <laughs> Not too it. small, a moustache, you know. But. Yes, I'm going. I'm just going to allow this. Thanks. Yeah, you you have a small sort of like pencil moustache, sort of like a John Waters right. really thin line. Yeah. Which over your dragonborn snout is um, it's quite impressive. Yeah. Cool. Well, it sounds like a perfect disguise to me, as long as I don't turn my back at the person. Or <laughs> we'll set the moustache on fire. Or we'll set the moustache on fire. Which is yeah. a very real and present danger. Yeah. Okay, so um, we will, uh, with that all established, let's cut back to the dining room where Liliana is kind of standing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to walk to the, the far end of the dining that the kind of heads of the uh, table 
uh, big chair, and I'm going to sit on it sideways with my chicken legs up over uh, one arm, so kind of like this, uh, and I'm going to just start um, picking at a bowl of grapes and dropping them into my mouth. Have a sheep, won't you? <laughs> just delighted. <laughs> just watching from above going, oh my god, what's he doing? <laughs> um, try the wine. I had it bought up from the, the cellar, the, the finest and rarest and most valuable vintage. She's going to pick up a glass of it and uh, give it a quick sniff. See if it's in any way poisoned. Did we poison the wine? Did you poison the wine? No. Okay. No. She's going to she's going to have a sip and kind of go. Hmm, it's actually not bad. To your good health. That is the and sort you... of thing you say when you have poisoned the wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. Now. Be a good fellow and tell me what exactly it is you want. Mm. What I want, Liliana, is for both of us to get something that we want. Now, uh, outside the door, that uh, army of yours, very impressive, by the way. Um, how did you uh, how did you cook them up? Well, the answer's in your question. I cooked them up. <laughs> very droll. Speaking of cook... I thought I heard that bell a little while ago. Service! <laughs> okay. <laughs> you hear this in the kitchen where um, the first course is indeed ready. All right. It's been ready for about 15 minutes, but Bismuth can't, cannot stop making the joke Bismuth <laughs> because she's sort of, she's made a delicious a lobster, lobster bisque. Right. <laughs> and she's okay. like, eh, eh, it's bis- Bismuth. <laughs> does, uh, does it need reheating? No, it's it's still it's it's perfectly ready. It's just that she's refused to plate it up until she's, right. she gets the re- reaction she's after. I so, I laugh sympathetically. <laughs> it's very yeah, it's very good business. Very good. She accidentally right. rolls her wrist all the way round as she tries to ladle it out, <laughs> and then it's like oh, clumsy, and ladles out two bowls of bismuth. All right, I'm gonna grab those two bowls, and I'm gonna take them in, and I'm gonna <laughs> edge around the edge of the room until I get to the table <laughs> and then place them. Ah, finally, yes. Uh, now, I take I um, uh, I, I take the whole bowl and just... <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, yes. Bisque. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Um, Will that be uh, water? <laughs> <laughs> no, in fact, um, hang around, won't you, huh? Yes, okay. Liliana, that, um, that, uh, oh, that's good bisque, yes, that, that army of yours, uh, it's all very well to, uh, to grow an army, isn't it? But, uh, I wonder if you might be interested in, uh, another way of doing things. What if you didn't have to grow the army? What if you could bring anyone under your will completely? sounds fine, but frankly, I've already grown the army. <laughs> That's a fair point. This is just a small portion of it. I'm going to use the whole thing to flatten Geth. But first, I'm going to kill uh, the pesky band of, band of adventurers who live here, known as the Oxventurers Guild. Which brings me to my first question. Where are they, and what have you done with them? Well, I'll confess, I haven't seen them here at all, or at least uh, all but one, and I stand up grandly, uh, and I walk over to Egbert, and just with my hand, I just cover the moustache. <laughs> <laughs> Behold! Oh. Egbert, your hated enemy. How did I come to have him here? Well, I'll tell you. I have a very powerful, a very powerful magic that brings anyone, even a warrior as strong as this, your chosen warrior, the one you chose to clone, under your command. And I will teach you the secret if you do something for me in return. But first, proof. Egbert, fall on your face. I fall on my face. (laughs) Revealing my butt. (laughs) (laughs) I need a charisma performance check from both of you to sell this performance (laughs) and be practical. That is 14. Okay. Uh, That's another 8 plus 4 is 12. Oh, says Liliana, (laughs) looking at Egbert's butt. (laughs) It's quite something, isn't it? (laughs) Magnificent. It is different, yes. 
And let me tell you, Liliana, this uh, magic that I'm offering you today is unlike any other spell of enchantment you've ever you've ever seen. He is completely and permanently under my thrall. The spell requires no concentration. I do a little prestidigitation with with one hand, to just sort of prove that that uh, I'm you know I'm not concentrating on keeping Egbert in my thrall. And I say, uh, start doing star jumps, Egbert. <laughs> I get up and. Start doing star jumps facing towards people, just to be clear, facing towards people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> You're doing star jumps now. I captured this fine specimen at a, a chair factory not long ago. Um, uh, he'd been left behind by his friends, I assume, uh, betrayed uh, by them, I can, I can only assume. He was, he was trapped. I saw my moment, I used this... Oh, but I almost said too much. Let's just say he was brought under my control using a technique that I'm willing to share if the price is right. Indeed. That will be all for now. <laughs> but, uh, Garçon? <laughs> okay. Um, I edge back out of the room. <laughs> up, 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 up. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, Garçon. I, I stop. Not really sure who I'm taking orders from now, but okay. I assumed there'd be a price for this, and I want you to name it now. And I want you to know that I'm not here to play games. Um, I'm more than happy to just subjugate all the people of Geth by force, let alone bring them under my command. And I feel awfully like you're about to suggest we rule together. <laughs> now, say what you will, um, but I just want to forewarn you, if I don't like what it is you're about to offer, I'm just going to storm him to death with knives now, and we can sort the rest of it out later, all right? Because you're right, I have come a long way. I am tired. Really Frankly, are. I'm getting a little bit tired of this one still existing. <laughs> um, we Lily shall... Are. Oh, okay. We shall cut there to um, the rest of the house, um, because you hear the door get kicked in gleefully, not like in a we're here to kill everyone sort of way, but sort of like a look at my magnificent feathered legs, aren't they magnificent? <laughs> uh, and you hear a voice go, a yoo hoo Bismuth! Bismuth! You're not still cooking the soup, are you? And you hear Bismuth kind of rush out. We like Okay, everyone, oh! Bismuth knows her role. She'll play it perfectly. <laughs> oh! Master Vocatus! I see you are here already. The bismuth is ready also to be served unto you and your guest Liliana, was it? Yes, Liliana, that's right. I see she's she's parked the car. <laughs> What's a car? <laughs> well, where is she? I hope you've seen her into a room and made her comfortable. I've got a lot of entertaining to do, you know, and I don't want an audience that isn't already warmed up. <laughs> She's just off in this dining room here. It is the finest one. And don't worry about the other. It is being... Bug bomb. <laughs> <laughs> in case goes, oh, noxious. Horrible. Well, maybe we can get a little heady on the fumes later. <laughs> Very well. Oh. Vocatus, your time is now. And he opens the door kind of like... <laughs> Throws open the door and li quite literally struts into the room. Hmm. <laughs> and sort of walks up and sees Prudence as Liliana and goes, Good evening. And does a very deep bow. Amazing. Good evening. I, uh, I was expecting someone else. I came here to destroy my nemesis, the Oxventurers Guild. Who oh. are you supposed to be? Well, I wouldn't worry too much about the Oxventurers Guild. I'm uh, somebody with... Um, Let's just say an offer to make. He sits down and sort of mimicking the other dining room, swings his legs up, <laughs> sort of crosses them. He sort of pours at a bowl of grapes, but slightly too far away. So instead, he, um, while making eye contact, clicks his fingers and uh, a glass of wine just <laughs> fills itself from the bottom. Cute. I have an army outside. I noticed. They're very nice. So who the hell are you? Well, me, I'm, uh, let's just say I'm somebody very powerful who, 
I sense you have designs on Geth as well, and let's just say that, uh, well, I think we could probably work together, you know, and uh, make the whole building an army thing sort of irrelevant. After all, there's no uh, no point in having an army to fight your enemies when there are no enemies to fight in the first place, shall we say? But I already have the army. The army's ready to go. All I need to do is mercilessly murder the Oxventurers Guild and then I'm ready for world domination. I don't see how you factor into this at all. Oh, well, world domination is such a messy business. There's all the killing. There's the paltry, pitiful resistance. There's paltry. the... Culture, the emotional yeah. <laughs> speeches as the, the heroes all die. I mean, look at this. This mawkish painting here. A man I... like that, <laughs> who has it in his own home, mind you, a, an enormous oil painting of himself with two cutlasses and no shirt. It's dreadful, isn't it? I mean, it is done in quite high relief, which I appreciate. <laughs> so much paint on this painting. A lot, a lot. They must have value in that shade, some of this at least. Is he noticing the abs? <laughs> there's, 12, there's 12 of them. I painted on a few extra. Uh, it's true what and they say, you can't buy taste, can you? <laughs> Indeed, but you really think someone like that is going to go quietly? No, the goodbye speech would take 25 minutes, even if there were nobody there to hear it. And it's boring, Liliana, what? it's boring. But if they all sign up to be subjugated... Well, How do you know my name? Well, let's just say your, um, your reputation precedes you. Well, yours doesn't. Who are you? <laughs> yes, I suppose, um, I suppose that's fair. I'm, a, I'm an old hand around guests, but I've been out of the game for a little while, shall we say. A few hundred years or so. Really? Yes. But, uh, listen... I've been All this on talk. Sabbatical? Um. You could put it that way, I suppose, yes. Hmm. And your name is? Oh, Vacatus. I'm so sorry. Fine. The thing is, Vacatus, I quite like the mess. I enjoy the violence. I was quite looking forward to it, starting with the brutal murder of the Exventurers Guild. And I feel like you're somehow involved in them not being here. He well, mm, now. That's a bit of a stretch, I think. I, I wasn't exactly... Well, it's not like I drove them away from home. I may have been palling around on the mainland of Geth, and um, perhaps they, they saw fit to come and interfere with my affairs. Um, which is when I thought of you, actually. I thought, well... If I've accidentally put these adventurers out of Liliana's reach, and she doesn't know where they are, perhaps I could help, um, you know, rustle them up again, and then, you know, tit for tat, I'd give the Oxventurers to you, and mm. uh, you at least hear me out about my plan. But well, all of this is, is such hungry work. Are you hungry? Well, I have been waiting for a long time at a dining table, so yes, let's eat something. Very good. Ding, 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 ding. Um, Egbert, you presume... I mean, Egbert's doing star jumps in another room. So there is a, a, a slight wait, and then you just hear, like, a series of, of creaking, cracking noises as Bismuth, Bismuth sort of enters the room, like, with uh, the doorknob clamped in her premolars. Goes like... <laughs> Bismuth! And she puts down two, two bowls of steaming bisque. Vacatus sort of takes a spoonful of his and goes, mm, oh, oh, bisque, mm, lovely bisque. Could do with a bit of salt, though. Uh, Liliana, could you could you pass the salt? You have a, we have a servant for that. Bismuth, give the man salt. <laughs> of course, yes. Thank you, Bismuth. Mmm, <laughs> salty bisque. <laughs> I, I taste the bisque, how does it taste? Very, very good point. Do make me a wisdom perception check. This is not just for the bisque. I'm not getting. <laughs> I'm not getting all. I use my powers of perception on the bisque. It's salty. Uh, mm. All right, wisdom perception. Hang mm -hmm. on. Oh, that's a five. Mm. Tastes fine. Bisque tastes fine. Bisque tastes fine. For a five, mm. and you get. That's it. Bisque tastes. The bisque tastes fine. You don't fishy. think your bisque yeah. needs salt. Okay. 
That's no. the most you get. You're like, eh, it's bisque, it's fine. Mm. Uh, Vicator seems annoyed. Mm. That's literally all you've got. You're not sure what it is. Maybe it's that you wouldn't pass him the salt. Maybe it's that bisque actually makes him angry. You don't know. <laughs> okay. So anyway, as you were saying. Well, I just, you know, I think um, we both we both want the same things. At the, at the end of all all things, I, you know, we both want to to rule over Geth. Um, we both want to see the Oxventurers um, vanquished. I just thought we could maybe team up a little bit. I don't Make know sure anything are... about you. And I, in fact, I find you quite annoying from the off. So why would I want to team up with you? Why would I want to rule a world with someone I just met and already find quite irritating? <laughs> well, I suppose that's a fair question. Let's just say that while you've been idling and um, that growing your, your little dragon baby army, um, in far less time, I've already taken over several cities across Geth. Hmm. All of them are praising my name and um, putting together affordable yet yet stylish and, and and sturdy furniture to expand these cities and basically turn Geth into one big party town. And you know what? Not one person has died fighting. Sure, some have maybe... Um, had a bit too much to drink, perhaps, and they've they've fallen under a wagon or off a high thing or or other such misfortunes. But uh, the point is that I am taking Geth bloodlessly, and I'm doing it with or without. But like I say, I want to avoid conflict, so I thought maybe we could um, work together. I could um, I could bring you in on this because I feel like you have something something special, Liliana. Something you could offer me. And, um, you know what this bisque needs, though? It's, um, capers. Ah, capers. I've, have you ever tried capers in bisque, Liliana? They're absolutely... D oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. Uh, no, well, I'm afraid I can't get the lid off this jar of capers. Uh, you, would, you wouldn't be so kind as to take the lid off this jar of capers for me, would you? It's, I'd ask the help, obviously, but... I mean, look at her frail wrists. <laughs> Surely uh, her forearms would explode were she to attempt such a thing for me. <laughs> well, we have, a, we have a, st a much stronger, larger servant for that. Um, oh, do you? Well... Bismuth, fetch the lurch. I shall fetch the lurch. She, um... She, she lurches out of the room herself. Um, it's weird that Liliana knows so much about the staff of this yeah. house. <laughs> yeah, that is true, actually. <laughs> well, the case has just rolled an eight. Because <laughs> it's weird that you know so much about the staff in this place. <laughs> I assume a grand old mansion like this, you have to have a lurch. Oh, I mean, well, yes. Look That's at what the it place. comes with the place. Yes, true. I mean, obviously, no. I've never been here before, but you know, you see, you hear, you assume. Lurch right. Somewhere. No, and it's nice. It's nice to be to be to dine in a place with a lurch. And yet you want to raise all this to the ground. Really? Shame on you, Liliana. Hmm? While um Vicatus is distracted, I would like to just whisper to Prudence from up in the painting. Uh and say, Prud Prudence, remember the thing in the library about the appetites? About how you defeat Vicatus. Said by appetite he will be undone. Right, yes, the prophecy from yeah, the, the prophecy. inside of the prison sphere. Make him eat a thousand bisques. <laughs> Make me a thousand capers. Yeah. Right, so the inside of the prison sphere, there was an inscription that said, The beast, uh, his works shall by his appetite be undone, or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, well, well. And then I return to my. Okay, thanks. I, I, thanks, pay, I paint on be two more abs. And I, I make a note to mentally <laughs> thank Corazon <laughs> for the cryptic clue later. Uh, okay, um, let's cut back to the other dining room. Um, where. Dob was about to make some grand overture to, to the very real Liliana who wants to mulch up Egbert with a storm of knives. Rule alongside you, Liliana. Why, you have me all wrong. I am a much humbler man than you think. Uh, I am a simple uh, being of simple means and simple pleasures. As I say this, I walk over to the table and take a fistful of butter and smear it on a, 
a thick slab of honeyed bread and go, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, the honey bread. You must try the honey bread, Liliana. I really don't want to. <laughs> uh, anyway, I say, licking honey off my fingers. As you know, as I'm sure you have spies everywhere. As you know, I have already taken control of many cities in Geth. I've done it bloodlessly, not that I care about a little blood. It rather gets the adrenaline up. It's very exciting, isn't it, when things die? Um, but, uh, look, all I really want, though, is uh, a principality. You've heard of the prison island of Alcatraz? Yes, of course. Everyone's heard of Alcatraz. There was a horrible ballooning accident there recently, if I recall. Yes, yes, it was very funny. Um, I, I want it. I want it. I was in prison there for a little while, and uh, let's just say, uh, the only thing that kept me company in those long imprisoned years was dreaming of building my party utopia, a single island of of revelry and and non-stop drunkenness and and all the debauchery you can imagine, all contained, all focused in just one island. I don't want to rule! A lot of paperwork, a lot of putting down rebellions, no thank you, no. You take over Geth, grant me my principality, and in exchange I'll show you how to bring uh, an entire continent under your thrall. Try the honey bread. <laughs> Make me a charisma persuasion check. This is not about the honey bread. <laughs> She's probably not going to try the honey bread. Marilyn, how are you doing up there? And just keeping an eye on it and, and Where just is being it? like, oh, what was that? What, what is it? That is Little Ox Venture Shield. Yay! I'm just like looking on and just being like, what is going on? I've just seen Egbert's butt. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Why, where is he going with this? What are these feelings I'm feeling? <laughs> 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 I've heard the dinner bell ring in the other room uh, so while Liliana is thinking uh, I say um, perhaps another demonstration of the power of my magic thrall and I look at Egbert and I say yes. go into the other room and inhale a lot of bug bomb gas and hurt your yes. lungs very badly <laughs> yes, sir. yes sir I will <laughs> okay sure Egbert, edge what... towards the door backwards she's yeah. actually going to let you go that's nice now you can go be the lurk Lurch, I think. Maybe the lurch myself, in the other room, weirdly. I suppose. Yeah. We'll stick with we'll stick with this room for a, just a second. Liliana mm -hmm. says, "Well, if all you want is Alcatraz, I suppose growing an army of Egberts has been quite expensive. We've had a few setbacks, you understand, which is why I was so keen to come here and slaughter those who stand in my way. Now you say you're not one of the ones standing in my way." Absolutely not. And imagine hmm. the power you would wield if those who have been stood in your way were on your side and screaming inwardly all the while. Jeez. That does sound better than tearing them apart with a cloud of knives, I suppose. All right. I'm listening. But where are they? Where are they? If you knew I was coming here and you managed to clear out the Oxventurers, where have they gone? How do I know they're not waiting in the wings or glued under a rug or some such nonsense. They're fond of idle japes. <laughs> idle? That's a lot of work. Ox Venturers, are you glued to a rug or hiding in a under a terrine or anything? I'm just saying this derisively. Uh, and I'd look under a silver um, platter and go, Hello! <laughs> Corazon! <laughs> Hello! I go look behind a curtain and I go, Prudence! I, uh, th what's this under, uh, oh gosh, in this drawer, dob, oh no, it's a paperclip. I don't know where the Ox Adventurers are, I told you, I found Egbert in the chair factory. And presumably abandoned by his cohorts, I, I don't know. Hmm, this all just seems very convenient, that's all. Never look a, never look a, uh, never look a horse in the gift mouth. <laughs> no, I think I might. She stands up and she starts to approach. I think I might look the gift horse in the gift mouth. <laughs> and she, she starts to come closer to come you. Come no closer, uh, Liliana. Donna's vacatus. She is approaching. Uh -uh. We will cut back to uh -uh. the other room. Uh -uh. Egbert, you are free to lurch your way in. 
I uh, yeah, I'm gonna head into the into the room and um, again keep my butt uh, planted <laughs> next to the wall as I edge around the table to go and get okay. to where I'm needed. All right. Hello. Then. Can I help? This man <laughs> needs this jar open. Being oh no, the... really? It's it's no trouble at all. I'm being on the I'm wall. Sure. I have a full view of Egbert's rear. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. In fact, I edge. Uh, I edge directly past the throw. painting, and okay. you know, it's just, it's just oh, weird. rub on it. Yeah. That's ten. It's a, wait, ten plus two. Okay, well. you're feeling some new feelings, but you don't you don't show it outwardly. <laughs> um, I just no, it's 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 fine, really. I it was just an idle thought that perhaps my bisque would go well with some capers. But oh, um, I'll get that for you, and I'll open the jar, but pointing it at his face just in case a snake pops out or something. <laughs> Oh no, it's all spring snakes. <laughs> Damn you, you trickster. trickster. You trickster god. It is It is a normal jar of capers. He kind of goes... He looks you up and down and goes... Fine, thank you. Uh, the bisque is, um, is cold anyway. Um, so oh, I, can take, re I can reheat it for you if you want. Uh, no, that won't be necessary. Just take take it away. We're ready for the next one. Take, 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 take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Okay, I guess away. I'll take it away. away with it. Right. Well, after all the caper talk, you don't want any capers. Well, uh, well, you know, I just. You're weird. Well, where I where I come from, you know, opening capers for a friend is, you know, a, a sign of, uh, of, 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 of of. Oh, of, go uh, on, have one. Just have one caper. Yes, sure do. Up. Don't just hurt Lurch's feelings. Just one He's caper. The jar for the, you. Yeah. Why <laughs> should I one. worry about hurting the help's feelings? Just one. I'll help you, and I flick a caper at his mouth. Make me a. Uh... This is it. This is how we find his wings. <laughs> this would be a dex check, I guess. I guess so, yeah. By his appetite, shall he be undone? <laughs> he that ate one eleven and chokes on it. Plus two. <laughs> Thirteen. Okay. Uh, you do actually manage to flick the cape. It sort of lands in the corner of his mouth. And he goes, <laughs> Very well. He kind of okay. eats the caper. Mm. Another? Oh. No, one is fine. Thank you. I've <laughs> eaten the caper. I believe I've fulfilled my duties not to upset the lurch. <laughs> right. So. Fine. Well, there's no need to be rude, is there? No, uh, forgive me. Uh, forgive me, my lady Liliana. No, you're right. I have been horribly, dreadfully rude. Here, allow me. Perhaps uh, a toast to both of us. And he sort of repeats the wine trick. There's a goblet next to you that stood empty, and it now mm. kind of fills up with wine. Can I um, non-magically inspect it for poisons or other yes. tricks? Make me a wisdom perception check. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing really good with those. Ah, <laughs> uh, 12. You can't be certain. You especially can't remember whether it's an Ed 2O wine or a, an Optimus <laughs> wine or <laughs> a neon whatever that pun was. Genesis um, <laughs> That's the one. You can't identify it precisely, but, I mean, you are fairly certain that this is the same magical wine. Sure. The Vicatus has been um, poisoning all. Smells of, familiar. All of Gethwiz, yes. Mm. Um, it seems that whatever he's planning, or whatever he's been trying to do, um, he's now taking a different tack and just trying to straight up bring you under his control with the wine. Okay. Well, where I come from, it's uh, it's good manners um, for for opposite parties drinking together for the first time to drink from each other's glasses. So, cheers, and I put my glass across the table and take his. Okay. Can I have some wine as well, please? <laughs> <laughs> yes, here you are. He passes you the glass that, that uh, Liliana just handed him. And he, you notice he grabs a, a decanter and pours himself a, a glass of white. Oh. It's just with seafood. With you the know. bisque, of course. Of course. Right, um, red. My refined yes. palate. Forgive me, really. I should have... Here. <laughs> he fills another glass next to you. Okay. Well, I'm not terribly thirsty right now, Vicatus. What are we doing here? And what do you want from me? And where are the bloody rocks venturers? What I want is for us to join forces. I want us to take over Geth together, and I want us to to rule it. It's that simple, and as a, as a part of our, you know, our our pact. I mean, you can even take the whole the whole thing if you want. You know, really, I I, I an advisory role would be great for me. I'm not even much of a of a natural leader. You know, maybe just sort of like a minister for partying or something similar. I just want to see you do well, Liliana. I admire you, and I admire your 
talent, shall we say. So I'm just looking for a small token of of our friendship here, you know. We'll, you know, you, know you, 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 you didn't want to open a jar of capers for me. That's, that's fine. Not everyone likes opening jars of capers. I, but I thought at least, you know, perhaps we'd share a glass of wine and you'd come to see things my way. I don't often sit down at a table with a, a potential enemy, with a stranger, and then make a deal with them. So maybe you could, um, you, you could give me a reason to trust you. A show of strength. What powers do you have? Why should I partner with someone like you? As far as I can tell, all your magic is conjuring wine. Well, that's rather the heart of it, I, I have to say. But, um... It, mm, now, this is difficult because all... The proof of my might is currently sort of wreaking its its way across... Across Geth. Um, it'll be, it'll be much easier to just, just take you out and show you after dinner... Are you sure you aren't? Are you sure you aren't thirsty, uh, Liliana? Are you sure you don't want to just have some wine? Uh, um. All right. I um. I pretend to take a drink of wine and I throw it over my shoulder at the painting, assuming that Corazon will not drink it either. <laughs> okay. Make me a deck sleight of hand check. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's nineteen. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Well, that is, yeah, he does not notice that you have tossed the wine away. And he goes, oh, finally, that took too long. <laughs> Normally, we don't even get to the soup course. Thank you so much, Liliana, for finally just having a sip of wine. In a moment, you're going to have another, and then you're going to have another, and then basically you're just going to want to drink the wine for the rest of your entire life. And you know what? I didn't actually want to do that to you because I mostly respect you from your reputation. You seem like uh, a real swell person. But nonetheless, uh, once you've had a couple more glasses of wine, you're going to, I may as well tell you, you're going to pass me a jar of capers. I have got another one here. Or you're going to pass me the salt. Or you're going to do something for me. And then I'm finally going to be able to rob you of your bloody magic. While Ficatus is guess ranting and shouting, <laughs> I would like to use Mage Hand to take a glass full of the wine and throw it into his open ranting mouth. <laughs> <laughs> From my position within the painting. Mage Hand can just do that, can't it? Um, I'm ask yeah, you, you sure can. I'm going to ask <laughs> you to make me a dex throw. Okay. To try and bullseye his... his like you're remotely operating the hand. His angry ranting mouth. Just straight dexterity. Yep, unless you have proficiency in wine goblet. Uh, I do, actually, weirdly. Um, no, I don't. <laughs> it's, uh, okay, that's a 13 plus a uh, 4 modifier, so that's 17. Okay, just going to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, you managed to slosh a fair bit of wine into Vicatus's mouth, and he goes, oh, oh, oh. <coughs> What have you done? What have you done to me? This isn't supposed to happen. You've just you just had some of my wine. You're not supposed to throw wine in my face. I didn't Liliana. I, I barely moved. I was just thinking about having another glass, Vicatus. Yes, you should have another glass. Why, why don't you just um here, here's some more capers. I need help opening these. Why don't you just open the jar of capers for me, please? Liliana? I'll I'll open it for you. I uh... open it and then down all the capers so there are no <laughs> capers left and then I hurl it to one side. <laughs> I know your game, Vicatus. Dang. <laughs> the, the capers give me strength salty strength <laughs> like, uh, uh, I didn't uh, I didn't expect that I, I didn't um um uh he reaches for a goblet of of wine um and he's like ah uh, uh, um uh and he starts to drink yeah he does Bismuth, bring more wine. You can see. I've got his... another glass for him. It's Lurch, fine. I asked for that glass. Yeah, that, like, he handed me a glass earlier. Here you go. Have this. You can one. see that his eyes are sort of getting wider and wider, uh, and you also see that like he's clearly quite unhappy to be downing this wine, but also there's sort of a faint pulsing going on from his hand, and you notice that as he quaffs, the glass is just infinitely refilling. <gasps> um, and he seems to be stuck in some sort of feedback. I'm drinking lots of wine. Loop oh. for the time. 
Lou. Being? Could he, is he capable of filling me a carafe? Let's see. I'm going to roll a d20 just to see how much wine is. It's going to be quite slow, but there is a trickle of wine sort of coming down the side of his mouth and dribbling <laughs> off his chin. Ooh, backwash. Right. Meanwhile, um, in the other room, Dob, you hear the shatter of glass from another room. Um, I, uh, <coughs> I spring backwards. Uh, stay back, Liliana. I, I had hoped that we would get to uh, the dessert course before we had to talk business, for it really is a rather striking croc on bouche. But you leave me no choice, as a, apparently, or uh, it's true what they say about you. Sh- sharp as attack and uh, uh, an unwilling to compromise. Well, um, well, look at this. And um, I guess she's still advancing, but just as I back up, I, I'm just going to pull from my pocket a, uh, a, a fife, which I think I have just as an b- ambient bard inventory. <laughs> um, behold, Liliana. Thought we might get to know each other a little first before I would show you this, but this <laughs> is the Fife of Chauncey. <laughs> <laughs> and it is the secret to ultimate control over even the strongest of minds. Now, anyone who hears a very particular tune played on the Fife of Chauncey <laughs> will fall <laughs> under complete control. But it can also be used to kill any target of whom you have an artifact. And just out of the other pocket, I'm going to pull Liliana's hair. <gasps> Why, this looks like one of yours, doesn't it? And I put the five to my lips. Why don't you take no seat again? <laughs> <laughs> Make me a charisma persuasion check, please. Another one? Oh. <laughs> yes, another one. Oh. I, have a deadly, I have a deadly five? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that is a... Roll high. <laughs> that is a seven. I oh. cast... Confu- inspiration! Inspiration! Oh, go on, go I, on, go, use inspiration. go, 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 go. Ah, ha, 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 inspiration! We used it, it worked! <laughs> um, uh, that is 12 plus 4, 16. She pulls out a chair, she goes, a five? Really? I didn't she create it. Take a seat. It was made by a god. <laughs> there was a god called Chauncey? Great and powerful one. <laughs> Even to speak his name is to invite damnation, but I don't think that troubles you, and frankly, it doesn't trouble me. They have more fun in hell anyway. This fife, once blown, will bring, once, once, once a certain tune is played, will bring anyone under complete control. Now, Liliana, I see that uh, with you we have uh, a little bit of trust to build. So let me begin, uh, and I'm. Uh, I just shoot a very brief, just little significant look at the hair and just do a little prestidigitation and, and it burns up. <sighs> My insurance, gone. And I'm going to give you the first half of the tune. It goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> Can't <Catchy. Yes. laughs> Very much so. Now, Liliana, if I may spell out the rest of my scheme to you. If you'll just let me finish. Kill me if you will. Burn down this whole house. Kill every living thing in it. But hear me out. Please. For the sake of the... For the sake of the chef who's gone to so much trouble. Where's that croc on bouche? <laughs> I walk to the, the, the wall and I, I pull back a curtain... And if I've remembered my geth geography right, we should be looking at the mountain from peak performance. Yes. Mm. Look up there. The highest point in all of geth. <laughs> very, very probably. <laughs> <laughs> she, she looks like us mm, probably. Play the fife up there in combination with a, with a particular amplifying horn <laughs> that I have placed up there in my laboratory <laughs> and all of Geth will fall under your immediate control <clears throat> shall we go there now yes I suppose a, an after dinner stroll would be interesting very well well uh, I mean you're a magician of, of means quite the sorcerer how about I uh, see you there I'm going to teleport personally and I turn invisible <laughs> I cast invisibility on myself huh. okay huh Okay. 
And um, I hope that Liliana will now leave and go off a mountain <laughs> where there's an ice dragon. But... <laughs> that's true. But I, I guess that's somewhat up to her. I've, I feel like I've given it a good, good go. Yeah, invisible. And I just hold my breath. <laughs> <laughs> um, you hear Liliana go, mass murder is just never as easy as you think it's going to be these days. <laughs> <sighs> You see her sort of squint out the window and then uh-huh. she disappears. Um, also, after that, you hear as like hundreds of pairs of identical clawed feet turn, and then there's like a as an entire army of Egberts starts marching toward a mountain. I look up, I go on invisible and look up at the rafters and go, Bloody hell, Meryl went! Oh my god, right? <laughs> I didn't think she could actually teleport. Yeah. I okay, was we like, don't... okay, I hope he knows what he's doing here, because I don't. <laughs> we maybe don't have as long as I thought. I thought that she would have to walk up the whole mountain, but we're no. not. Gonna... It's not going to be long. I mean, how long is it going to take Liliana to kill a dragon? One okay, second, look. One, two. <laughs> she might Actually, be back any minute, mate. Yeah. <laughs>